I heard about this study from the NHL alumni. We uh, got an email from Mark Napier and asking for people to donate some of their time, uh, possibly to some brain studies. And uh, right away, I said absolutely, because I mean, it is your brain and it's going to be with you for the rest of your life, and I want it in tip top shape to the day I die. I mean, I plan on being on this earth for a fairly long time, and, and I just don't want to be a, a body walking around. I want to be able to have proper brain function. And so the more I know about it now, the better I can prepare for it later. Thanks to Ryan and our other study volunteers, we'll be able to check for abnormal protein in the spinal fluid that may signal lasting injury, and we can follow over time whether that brings on memory loss. The lumbar puncture is much more commonly used to diagnose infections, severe headaches, or the spread of cancer. The lumbar puncture, uh, you know, it, it sounds kind of nasty and the thoughts of a, a needle going into your spine kind of scared me initially, but then uh, the doctors at Baycrest were very um, confident on the, uh, the, the steps and made me feel very confident that it was going to be an easy, easy procedure, which it was, and it was, very, it was painless and no pain at all. Your doctor should discuss the risks and benefits of this procedure to you before starting. Notify your doctor of all medications, whether it's prescribed or over-the-counter, and herbal supplements that you're taking, specifically if you have a history of bleeding disorders or if you're taking any blood thinning medications. It may be necessary for you to stop these medications temporarily prior to the procedure. A person is not out of commission after the lumbar puncture. Strength and balance are not affected. The patient or research participant can stay lying on the examination table for a while after we're done, but generally, they feel fine, they get up, and they drive themselves home with no restriction of activities, including bathing. Gordy Howe, uh, he's been around for, for quite a while, and he's a tremendous man and former athlete, and, and uh, I just love the fact that he's taking a bull by the horns with uh, Alzheimer's dementia and, and helping out with uh, this cause.